Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Python. In today's tutorial, we are going to see another structure that is nothing but dictionary. We can also call it as a map too. If you learn other technologies such as Java or C or C++, you might aware about the terms map in Java and structures in C language. Dictionaries is also is is well known term in Python. Previously we have seen the structures such as list or array. We also seen the tuples. List store the values and which we can modify. Tuple stores the values but which we cannot modify. Dictionary is another type of structure where the values are stored in the key and value pair. By providing the key we can retrieve the value. In real-time application, the dictionary is very commonly used and it's very helpful for development of your scripting logic. In order to demonstrate how to write a dictionary and how to retrieve the values from dictionary, we have written very simple example here. Here we are going to create a dictionary for a week. So dictionary means nothing but it store the value in the key and value pair. For example, if you say sun for Sunday, mon for Monday, so sun will be act as a key and the Sunday will act as a value. So here in this case, sun will be the key and Sunday will be the actual value. So we can write such key and value pair in this dictionary. For list, we use the rectangular bracket. For example, ABC, if I want to create ABC list, I use the rectangular bracket. For tuple, we use the simple brackets. And for dictionary, we use the curly bracket. So the next thing is, so let's create this complete dictionary. I'll provide the values such as MON for Monday, QE for Tuesday, and WED for Wednesday, and so on. I will also create the whole seven days. Now, how can you retrieve the values? For example, if I want to retrieve the Sunday as a value from this week dictionary, it's very simple. We have to use the week, use the open rectangle bracket and close rectangle bracket, and specify the key here. This key may be integer value or it may be a string value. You can use as per your requirement. I'll just execute this program and I can see if I pass SUN, the Sunday is printed. If I pass MON, the next Monday will be printed. So, so on you can do the uh, use this keys to retrieve the value from dictionary. There are some other ways to retrieve the values from dictionary also. And the way is after week you can use a dot and you'll see the so many options or the functions copy, clear, from keys, get, items, keys, etc. If you want to get particular value, you can use get and then pass the value and it will get us the value corresponding to this MON. Like if you want to pass TUE, it will pass, it will return the result. If you use lowercase, what will happen? We'll see. If you pass the lower, it will return none because the it is a case sensitive. If you if your keys are in lowercase, you have to pass the uh, if you want to return the value corresponding to such keys, you have to pass the key in lowercase and the vice versa for the uppercase. If you want to get keys, so let's see, we'll use function dot and keys. Let's try this and let's see what it returns. So it will return all the dictionary keys and you can see so dictionary keys is automatically appended to the result we are not mentioning anywhere this dictionary case it will be automatically mentioned 
and it will return this result of all keys similarly if you want to use any other functions for example items or pop etc pop will take out the values so let's print the items so items is nothing but the the key value pair so this is the key value pair and if you notice this is something like the tuple and the tuples are included within the list right you can see the rectangle bracket that means it's a list of the tuples the key value pairs are provided if you print if you print the items now suppose you want to use get and just want to print friday it's very simple you can print it it will print the friday but what will happen if I did uh, some type of mistake? So it is always going to return none. It is not giving the appropriate information or the proper message. I would like to get some proper message if user provides some wrong value. How can we do that? So there is a way you can use the same sentence get. The, you can provide the key. And after that you can use the comma and provide some default value invalid key or something like that you can provide any other key also so it says invalid key because this is not matching to input by plus suppose mon it will print the monday because it's matching but if i pass something else it will print invalid key on the same line you can write the other logics also there are so many methods available for dictionaries which we can get by using this dot operator and it will show us what are the available values or available functions which we can work with a dictionary let's try out the demo with value using zero or uh, uh, the integers for example suppose I have TV channel so I'll just mention one and just mention like channels I use small case channels and suppose on number one channel it's a suppose Netflix and number two channel is suppose CBS you can use anything whatever your what is your requirement is and suppose third is suppose YouTube Okay, so here you can just pass the gate and suppose if I pass one, it will print. I'll just need to pass the channel also. What do you think what it will print? It will print the Netflix. So the conversion is automatically happening. So we don't have to convert any integer or the number to a string. It will automatically convert internally. The Python is so smart and it determines the, what is the key and its corresponding value. If I something unavailable key, so our logic is using the default value and it will be printed and the so on. So you can use the numbers as well as integer uh, numbers as well as the string as a key and the value also can be number or string. So instead of Netflix, suppose I want to use 1000 and if I pass one here, it will print 1000. If you remember here, if you can see here, I can use a key value as a string uh, and string value. I can also use the number and number. I can use the number and string, or I can use reverse also, like suppose ABC, and I'll assign some value here, suppose 2000. If I pass key as a ABC, it will print the corresponding value. So it's a so flexible, so you can use it in the reverse order also. So this is about the dictionary for today. Uh, I hope uh, you're enjoying these tutorials. If you have any questions or queries and would like to know more about Python, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. I would give you some small assignment for you guys to do it from your end. So create like the dictionary of uh, pets with their uh, like you can have the cat and give the cat name if you have a dog then give the dog name something like that and prepare one dictionary and show me the results in the comment section 
uh, thank you for watching this video do not forget to subscribe my channel and you can access my blogs also on my website which is mentioned at the top uh, uh, at the left bottom side thank you again have a nice time